Let's take a closer look at the event framework. The event framework provides the technical infrastructure for logging, handling, and alerting from processes at runtime. It captures events at the account level and logs them into an event log as discrete entries. So you can think of this as a database with event records. The entries in the event log are used by Atomsphere to generate email alerts based on user subscription preferences. Users can also query the event log directly through the event API, and we'll discuss that in more detail shortly. Events can be generated by the Atom, by a process, or by the user. The Atom can generate Atom status events that relate to Atom health and welfare, whether the Atom is online or offline, and these are automated by the platform based on Atom status. The process can capture results in process execution, and will capture events like start and complete events, or error events on the process and document level. User events can be generated through the notification or exception step. These can post to logs, and message content and level can be customized by the developer. Some of the key attributes of events include the event type, and this can be of uh, three different types, atom status, the process execution, or user notification. The level of the event, which can be info, warning, or error, and the classification of the error, whether this is in production or in test. Some other attributes include the event type, uh, document counts, start and end date and timestamps, and more. These records are purged from the system after seven days, but you can modify purge settings in Atom Management. Events reside in the Atomsphere platform, not the local runtimes. So you can't obtain events from the local Atom like you can with process logs or user logs. As we saw before, this event framework entry displays numerous attributes, much of which is the same information that is shown in an email alert. Okay, so events are stored in the Atomsphere platform, but how do we get to them? Well, events can be consumed through one of three channels. Uh, first, there's a email alerts from Atomsphere. So Atomsphere sends out email alerts to Boomi users who are subscribed to alerts in the account. There's also an RSS feed. These are created for a specific Atom. These alert events are pushed to clients as an RSS feed, and they are formatted uh, similarly to email alerts. Uh, and this can be very useful for high volume or logging applications. And finally, there's the Atomsphere Event API. This is designed as a source for third-party systems like JIRA, uh, CRM, or a ticketing system to be aware of events in Atomsphere that require action. So let's take a closer look at each of these in turn. You can set up subscriptions to receive emails reporting Atom status, process execution status, and or user notifications. The Email Alerts tab in the Setup page is your admin tool and lets you add, edit, and delete email subscriptions and set up email alerts for a distribution list. This page contains user-level subscription settings for all of the Dell Boomi accounts that you can access with your username. When you are setting up email subscriptions, you can specify the type of event and the severity level of the log that you wish to receive. In our screenshot, we have both the log level and event type select boxes expanded so that you can see the options available to you. From here, you can select your combinations. So for example, you may want to receive info logging level emails about the Atom status and error logging level emails about any process execution errors. Or perhaps one person in your company may want to receive only emails about the Atom status and another person may want to receive only emails about user notifications. Those can be easily set up by selecting the correct log level and event type. For RSS feeds, there are two levels of setup for the Atom or the account. RSS monitor feed allows you to link to the RSS feed for all statuses and process activity for this Atom molecule or Atom cloud. RSS alerts only feed allows you to link to the RSS feed for only alerts and process errors for this Atom molecule or Atom cloud. The difference there being simply the amount of information that you want to receive. You can set up this feed for the entire account by going to setup and then account information 
or for an individual atom by going to Manage, then Atom Management, then clicking on an individual atom. Here is an example of what your RSS feed will look like. Note that like the error alerts, you have a variety of information, including process name, execution ID, timestamp, and environment classification information. Another channel for consuming events is the Atomsphere Event API. The Event API allows you to query the event log directly, so you can create custom programs to query the data. It provides access to all events logged in your account. It's important to note that events are not written in test mode or test environments, so the process must be deployed and executed in production environment for anything to be written to the event log. Your account credentials can be used to gain access to the event API, and any SOAP client can be used to access this information. The Atomsphere API connector it was designed for this kind of access in particular. So this is a typical Boomi connector configuration. The Atomsphere API is a connector, and the action here is query. The connection contains account-specific information and credentials, and the operation defines the objects and filters used for the query. The Atomsphere API connector URL consists of three elements. First is the API address itself, then the Atomsphere account ID, which you can find in the browser URL, or you can find it under setup and account information. And finally, the WSDL request in the query string. So the user who is making the request must have permissions to access the API in user management. And you can check this by also going to setup and then user management, select the user and review the permissions that are granted to them. The Atomsphere API operation can be set up to query data from the event object using filters on the level, uh, date time, or process ID. And this is what the response looks like coming back from the API. You can see that it generates an XML profile that returns all the same data that we've seen in previous screenshots.